Uh, we're going to start. Okay, we just allow other people to come up. Okay, Lucia Lai is joining too. Thank you. Thank you for joining in. Thanks, I just followed straight. Yeah, so I'll send the link to you. Yes, I received it, thank you. You can invite your friends to invite them. Let's talk about it. Really? Want to share, yeah? If you want. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. I'll be sealed in my case, yeah? Good. Oh, my number's gone. All right, let me not waste our time and we just start this. So if you can't hear, you might need to, let me see who is that. You, uh, Margaret, you need to reconnect your, your let me just chat her. Your audio, connect your audio. All right, so good evening, everyone. And you're welcome to Synergy International Student Network meet and greet section for all our, our newest Synergy nurses in Ireland. Now, let me first of all say this. I'm going to put myself in spotlight first for everyone. Um, okay, someone is coming. I think I should just admit all so that I'm not here every time. Okay. So you're welcome everyone once again. This is Olayin Karemu and this is Synergy Nurse Meet and Greet session for our latest Synergy Nurses in Ireland. And I call them Synergy Nurses. So you are a Synergy Nurse if you are either enrolled, let me start from our CBT program, you're enrolled in the ILCS study body or OET study body, you are Synergy Nurse. If you are, if we've assisted you in any process at all with your relocation or anything, you are a Synergy Nurse. So if we are also uh, one of our candidates for maybe the uh, job relocation interview, anything you have enjoyed from Synergy, you are a Synergy Nurse. So it is a pleasure to have uh, the latest Synergy Nurse two latest synergies in Ireland at this particular difficult time. Uh, so many people think like it is impossible, COVID and all that, that traveling is very difficult. But by the grace of God, God has helped these two ladies uh, to you know, move across seven oceans and seas, <laughs> seven oceans and seas to the land of Ireland, and they are here. So today, there's not that we want to do, we want to, of course celebrate them and we want to hear from them how their journey has been uh how you know just for them to share the experience they're going to tell us a lot of things i'm going to be asking them some specific questions as well uh so welcome with me uh misola and foluke for personal purposes they will be off video of course we know uh for privacy and all that so i know there's the time will come that they themselves will be the one to share their video, you know? So it's still in the process. So bear with us uh, regarding that. It is, we're going to keep it uh, a bit up And I ask everyone to mute, please, so we can hear. So uh, only when the, the synergy nurses will be talking, okay? So let me welcome, I'm going to have both of them on my screen. I, I really wish, um, I can have them video, but then what can we do? So add to pin and I'm going to add myself to the pin there. Okay, so I have Kemi Sola and I have Fuluke here as our latest Synergy nurses. Let's welcome them. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Both of you, you can unmute yourself. So you are on hot seats. Okay, I will start with a question and others who can ask questions. Please, if you want to ask any question from either of them, please, you can use the uh, raise hand button or you can type your question in the chat box. That, okay, let's make it very quick. It's just have 30 minutes anyways, um, so that you can go on and then continue to enjoy. 
<laughs> okay. All right. The first question I want to ask, I just want to ask you, this will be centered on when did you start <laughs> this island process? Okay. Or oh, first of all, introduce yourself. Let me tell you about it. Introduce yourself. Yeah. Yeah, my name is Kemisola. I'm a Nigerian for the South Tribe past of Nigeria. I'm a Christian in years with them. Um, how many years of experience? Over 10 years of experience. And presently I'm in Highland. <laughs> Enjoy the greenish of the Greenland. <laughs> yes, no. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh Fuluka, it's your turn. Just introduce yourself. Hi everyone. Okay, my name is Foluke, and um, I'm a Nigerian, at least from the name, you can tell that I'm a Nigerian. You're about to be precise. Okay, so um, I'm a nurse, obviously, then I think I have about nine years experience in nursing. And um, currently in Ireland, trying to cope with the weather <laughs> hmm. and, <laughs> and the food. But above all, it's all fun. It's been fun all the way, so still enjoying it while it lasts. All right, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You. And I really want to really thank both of you for, um, you know, willingly wanting to do this with us. This, this will be our first time to feature our synergies. So we've had um, synergies in the UK, at least we have two, even during this COVID period, uh, we have two in the UK. We had one come here earlier, and but, you know, she doesn't want anything media and we understand that so for you to uh you know be able to do this i really want to appreciate you on behalf of myself my director mm. and the whole team of synergy national network thank you so much for doing this for us this is not just for synergy it's also for people that are how they struggling in this part they are so much uh, aspiring i have somebody that has spoken with me today that i think she's here She's been, she's really dying to come to Ireland. Like she can't wait. So this would be a motivation yeah. for that kind of person. So thank you for doing this. All right. So I'll go straight to the first question. And the first question will go to Kemisela because you are just at my left hand. Right here. Yeah, okay. Kemisela. All right. So Kemisela, when did you start this journey? When did you start? Or oh, why Ireland? Where did you make up your mind that you want to come to Ireland? And when did you start? Uh, honestly, before I started the whole traveling issue, traveling journey or so, I don't even know that is Ireland. So <laughs> I think the first thing that made me shows Ireland was my height. So, so then I had a 6.5 in listening. So I was considering US. A friend just said, ah, you can use this call for Ireland. I said, Ireland, where is Ireland now? He said, ah, you don't know Dublin? I said, okay, I know Dublin. Try Ireland now, yeah, let me connect you with somebody. So that's how she connected me with our coach. Mm. So I, overall, I started March last year. And I said, March this year, I'm here. So let me just say yeah, the year. So it took me that much because of COVID-19. Because my verification got delayed along the line. I sent my verification for my transcript by March 2020, and my verification did not come out until August 2020. So my verification got out 2020, August. My DL came, I think it wasn't up to a month before my DL came, and I got work like a month after. And here now I'm. Um... I hear you there. We lost you. Hello? Or is that me? Hey, Sarah. Hello? Yeah. Okay. All right. We kind of lost you there earlier. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I said the whole process took me like approximately a year. Okay. Thank you. That's good. So she started March last year and then she's here. March, so approximately a year, and there was a delay basically because of COVID 19. Okay, our friend actually referred her to uh, North Coast, uh, myself, and of course, with the grace of God and God's leading and direction, 
she is here. She got a job, she got everything sorted. Thank you, Benisola. Luka, can you share with us why Ireland? Why did you decide to come to Ireland? And when did you start the journey? Um, okay, um, in all honesty, I would say my story is just like that of Kemi Solas because of mm -hmm. IELTS. Yeah, I, I wrote IELTS twice and um, um, the second sitting I had 6.5 in listening and um, because that didn't meet up with um, UK standard, uh, I wanted UK actually. So because of that, a senior colleague of mine told me about Ireland and though I have heard about Ireland before, but I was I was um, discouraged initially then because ah uh, there's this there's this um in quotes it's a small country you know so I was like no I want a big country I want to be I want to be a UK RN US RN you know mm. so but when the IELT results came in and I had a colleague a senior colleague of mine tell me about Ireland and it's a very good country then I just started so um I started the journey in November 2019. Yes, that was when I started off with Ireland. I sent all my documents in January 2020. Then my decision letter came in in March 2020. So um, I started jump hunting from there. And um, I think I, I was delayed in terms of getting a job because of COVID, because I, I actually had a series of interviews last year about July, August, mm. September, but I didn't get through because of COVID and some restrictions. But well, thankfully, I'm in Ireland now. So mm, that's the journey so far. Thank you so much. That's that's very straightforward. And for those, anyone just joining us, this is the meet and greet session for Synergy Nurses that recently be located to Ireland for job, not for anything, legal, like legit, legit job. As they are, eh? so um, they're, they're just sharing their experience with us and how you know how the journey was and all that, just to motivate others. Okay, thank you for that. Now I just need to quickly say this: like I mentioned, you are a synergy nurse. Whatever you do, OET, IELTS, CBT, anything you do with us, you are a synergy nurse. And I really want to appreciate everyone here live. So let's go to the second question. I'll go to Foluke second. So Foluke, what pathway? Are you coming in through? What pathway and how, like, what's your readiness about what you're going to do? We know that for Ireland, if you're coming to work as a nurse, is that through adaptation or aptitude test? So tell me what pathway are you coming and what informed that pathway? Um, okay, um, to be straightforward, I'm coming through the adaptation pathway and um, that was chosen by my employer because I got a job directly with the hospital. So, um, and uh, I was offered an adaptation program. So, of course, I have no choice than to take it up because one, my decision letter is close to expiring. And two, I think I prefer adaptation at least because no exam tension, so to say. So, <laughs> no CBT, no OSCE, no hot seat, so to say. So, uh, though it's quite longer, but then it's um it's like um learning on the process. So I I think I prefer that, and thankfully I got it. Good, very good. Kim Sala, what about you? Yeah, let me say, fortunately, I got two of us. One she got go two of us. Don't rush, it, don't rush it. Do. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. She oh. got <laughs> two of us. Two of us. Okay, continue. Yes, yes. One is to do adaptation, and the other one is to come and do an exam. Uh, different employers. I what I did was I. Different employers, different employers, yes. So I took it to God in prayer. I was convinced in my heart to do adaptation. Honestly, I was convinced to do adaptation. and. With me asking my people that in Ireland, okay, what's the view about adaptation and exam? Everybody gave their, some people, the people tried to talk me out of adaptation. Some people encouraged me, oh yeah, choose adaptation. Like if it's adaptation you want to do. If it's exam you want to do, yeah, do exam now. I just thought that, is, okay, what do I really want? I just mm -hmm. closed my eyes, choose adaptation. So I am here for adaptation. Okay, she's here to adapt. <laughs> she wants to adapt. You're welcome. <laughs> so just to just to give clarity before I go to the next question, 
Like I said, if you have any questions to ask them directly, you have the opportunity, okay? You can ask directly, just use the raise hand button or you can type your question in the chat box or in the, or in the comment section, okay? So now what I'm trying to say is there's two things. There are two pathways when you're coming to work in Ireland as a nurse, aptitude tests or adaptation. This is usually decided uh, by your employer. Some people, especially those who are self-sponsoring, would definitely opt for the aptitude test. That means you are ready to, you are paying for the exams like that. But most employers could decide, like when I came in, my employer chose the aptitude test, the exam pathway, and the, the, my employer paid for the exam, okay? So, but some now would prefer adaptation. They want a process where you will work like an internship, it's like an internship, it's six weeks, six weeks to 12 weeks, you know, depending on the situation, depending on, you know, they see that you are ready and you have really adapted well. So maximum of three months, so to say, it could be elongated, it could be, you know, extended, depending on individual circumstance, but it's usually six weeks adaptation. So for those that needed that clear verification, just to say, thank you. Now, the second question I want to ask, were there challenges along the line? And what were, what were those challenges and how did you go through them? I'll start with Ken Sola. Yeah, <laughs> there is nothing good in life that doesn't have its own challenges, except we want to deceive ourselves. So the major challenge I had was my verification. Honestly, I cried. Mm. Because for my verification, you know, the person that wanted, that did the verification for me, he told me to pay extra money. I prayed so that I struck it. At the end of the day, it was delayed. Mm. So, but what kept me going was, if people can do this thing and they succeed, why can't I do it? Mm. So along the line, that's the major challenge that I had. Another thing that happened was my transcripts. FedEx lost my transcripts. Wow. I was I have to resend personally. I gave another money. Okay, I'm going to use the share. The share is what I'll be using. So please help me to use the share. They said I'll pay again, no problem. But please don't send through FedEx again. True send the share. So I think that's, that's just the, I didn't have any queries so far. I didn't have any delay. My assessor was one of the, one of those people that people will complain. This person is your assessor, ha, you have to pray. He did not give me any problem at all. But I think prayer worked. So I was, the three what pieces, my three pieces, my prayer, my patient. Be more specific, by assessor. Yeah, the assessor is the person that assesses my documents in behind. Okay. The first that we assess your documents, your certificates, your verification, and everything. So there are different stages of that assessment. So the person that was in charge, that was under him, was the, was my assessor. So each person will be assigned to different assessor. So you can be there can be five people with one assessor. There are different assessors in NMBI. Yeah. Good, thank you for so, that presentation. You know, you are the one telling us now, you are the latest. You are old school. You are the one that knows the in thing now. So that's why I ask you this. So you were talking about how you were able to scale through those challenges. Yeah, I said my three P's, my watchword, my three P's. That's what I call my three P's. Prayer, perseverance, and patience. Mm. That's what kept, kept me going. Where's my pen? I need to jot that down. I need this in my life. <laughs> so that's what... I Sometimes the, the journey is not almost sweet. Don't let us deceive ourselves. Mm. It's not quick. It's not quick, quick thing like UK processing. But if mm. one can persevere, if you can be patient, there's nothing that won't come out positive. If some people, if people like us can do and succeed. So what stops any other person from doing? Mm. So that's just, and you don't allow any negativity. You don't allow any negativity. Anybody that would discourage me on that journey, I don't encourage negativity. So I believe in being positive and being positive alone. Thank you. Brilliant. That's good. Thank you so much. Folike. Yeah, okay. Um, 
I would say um, from the right from the um, I getting my documents assessed by NMBI, I don't think I had any major um, challenge. Like I said, I it was assessed within two months. Mm. So the, the challenge started from when I got my decision letter and that was when COVID-19 started, so to say. That was the peak of lockdown. And um, I didn't get a job. I didn't get my first interview until July. So that was between March and July, I was job hunting. And um, I became devastated at some point, especially when I sent out emails to, you know, agencies, to employers, you know, and when you, when you, when you get an, an email notification on your phone, hoping to see something positive. positive. But then we are, we, are sorry, we are sorry to inform you that I regret to inform, you know, each time I see the first line, I regret, then I'm like, oh you, you my don't goodness, even read the rest. You know, I don't need the rest. So that got me devastated. And at that point, I was almost giving up. Like, you know what? I think I'm going to write another IELTS, then, you know, try UK. Because a lot of my friends that I started before, you know, went to UK, even when there was lock, even when there was lockdown, when they when there was initial, you know, lock, lifting of lockdown, they traveled down and they were like, for look at what's up, you know, I keep getting messages from them and I was devastated at that point and I was almost giving up because mm. then I, okay, this job I got, I did interview with them in um, August, 2020 mm. and I didn't get um, an offer until February, 2021. Wow. So that I waited for six months to hear from them. Yeah. I was told that they placed me on the panel, you know, so I just waited to hear from them. And um, I would say that it was really challenging and tasking. And like Kemi Stola said, I think I, I borrowed that three piece too. Prayer, <laughs> With Island Journey, you've got to pray. Yeah, it, it is real. You know, you have to pray and you have to persevere. And if you are this impatient person, you know, you just have to learn how to be patient because mm. I've under, I have come to understand that nothing good comes easy. So you have to wait to get that good thing you're, you're, you're hoping to get. So yeah. that was my major challenge. And I, could, I was able to scale through because one, I didn't encourage negativity and I was optimistic all through the process. Even though I was devastated, I was discouraged at some point, I would just talk to myself that, you know what, I have started this journey. I yeah. can't just stop here. I can't end here because I had to think of the time I put into this. I had to think of the money because <laughs> I spent money, you know. Uh -huh. So um, it's, 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 those were the things that kept me going and I was highly optimistic. So when I got my, uh, my offer letter, then every other thing was super fast. Okay. So I would, just, I would just want to encourage us all to keep pushing, then if um, you have people tell you that, oh, why not just write another IELTS? Writing another IELTS isn't the solution because I have had people write other IELTS and still still getting this band score that meets up with mm -hmm. Ireland. So why not just take a bold step up by starting? And like Kemik Sola said, we have ancestors that has gone through the, this process and succeeded. And of course we have people like us too that thankfully we are here today. So this is just a call to motivate every other person there that, you know, yeah, thinking of our island, I've been hearing so many negative about it, but mm -hmm. there are other positives too. So we should, you know, bank on that and leave leave aside the negative thoughts. Thank you so much. Thank you. For, okay. Yeah, you mentioned something there. I'm waiting for people to drop the question. I'm going to round up my own question and I'll okay. allow every person to ask the question. You mentioned something there about costs. Kensala, you want to say something? Hello, no. Sarah. Okay, so um, yeah, that's so me. Called my attention. Okay, called my attention. I like kind of reminded me of the question I wanted to ask. So, talking about costs, you mentioned that you spent a lot, so you don't want to be thinking of that. So I'm going yeah. to ask because people have been asking, ah, uh, it's very expensive. How to come? Okay. How much? How much is the total package? That's the kind of question we get at Synergy. Like, mm -hmm. most of, what is your total package? So, okay. Sola, how much did you spend altogether up to this point? My dear, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't. I don't know because for all my, like I've mentioned earlier, all my all my documents I've been sending, I sent through DHL, and DHL only is fourteen thousand five hundred naira for one document that you are sending. Time <laughs> honestly, I don't, 
I don't calculate though. I don't, I don't know. I just don't put my mind in putting everything down. Say I've spent this. I don't know. I just no money was coming. Yeah. And I did the any time I need it, I'm single. So I didn't maybe later when I now start receiving you, maybe I will now sit down and calculate <laughs> everything that I've spent so far. But, honestly oh, no, my mind is not there. Honestly, I don't want to remember. <laughs> okay, honestly, um, you know, lately I was checking my I have you know, you know, you bring some books. Why are coming to Did you bring books? Did you yes. bring books? I have yes. lots of yes. text books. Yes. I have lots of, I bought yes. some of them. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm coming for example. In my mind was like, why are you carrying all these text books to? Eh? Why are you so but I still follow those books and I was checking. Then I opened one of the textbook and I saw my pay slip back in Nigeria. Ah, <laughs> I saw like, you know, when you are doing all those pay slip. They put together three, like three consecutive ones. I look at that face like this. I just burst into tears. My <laughs> God, thank you. See, face sleep. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll come back to mine. Today, this time is yours. I'm going to round up the old session with my experience anyways. Now, for look at how much did you spend? Uh, okay, uh, talking about cost because um, it was after I'd gotten my my offer that I had to sit down. That okay, if you look at how much did you spend, mm. and um, I could only remember that then because I I had a diary that I wrote it out. Then I had about four hundred k in my accounts, and I remember that <laughs> after sending everything, I only had twenty k left. That account was like, okay. Let me see where this four hundred k will take me to. That's a side IELTS um, fee, but just um, sending documents, getting transcript from school, getting verification, you know, doing this, doing that. And I was like, wow, so I had spent this much. Well, the good thing now is that that was during the whole process because Ireland's uh, nursing board, they've now migrated to, you know, online. using the online system. Yeah. So the good thing now is you don't have to send documents via Korea or DHL mm -hmm. or anything. That's a very big a huge burden has been taken off, you know. So be, now you just have to upload your documents, and um, the only yeah. thing that the only is now is just verification. verification. You just have to pay, and it's very okay, you know. So that's a very good plus, and is is enough to encourage people now. Mm -hmm. But back then, it was it was quite expensive. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, that's just about that. That's about the cost. It's the, the nothing that's, that's, that comes free. I used to tell people that mm -hmm. nothing is free. Somebody has already paid, yeah. paid it. So if you feel like, oh, I'm enjoying free, free education, free this, free that. Somebody paid the price. Okay? That's why you think it is free, but there's nothing free. All right. So when people are saying total package, what's total package? It depends. For some people, if you have employer, if you, if you got an employer, some employer, some employer will, you know, they offer them and help you with some of the costs, which is what I'm going to ask you. Uh, what was your offer like? So people will know what they are coming for. But some people feel like if an employer pay for something, you have to pay back when you have to pay back when you get there. Some people have asked me that question. Ah, why you pay back? Oh, you pay back. So what's your offer like for the pay? Um, okay, for my offer, because I think it's because I applied directly to the hospital and not through an agency. Mm. So um, I would say that I had to pay for most of them. Yes, okay. because, and second, secondly, I think I prefer that in the sense that um, initially they were trying to give me some, okay, if we do this for you, this is going to happen if we do this. So because I didn't really want that, um, no. sorry, I, I will not be so detailed about this because of yeah. some reasons, but I will yeah. just be highly diplom diplomatic here. So, you know, if you do this, you might, this might happen. So because of that, I was just like, okay, fine. I might want to foot the bills myself. So talk of mm -hmm. flight ticket, um, flight bills, um, um, also my AWS application, you know, I actually footed that Though there was a there was a there was a um, part of the offer that said okay they might want to refund this if I am ready to do this if this if that so I'm I'm still thinking if I want that anyways because of course I'm I'm already in Ireland and I don't think yeah. I I have any issue with that so I might not mm -hmm. want to go into that but because it's directly with the hospital I don't really have um, them pay for most 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 of the things for mm -hmm. me except the fact that of course when I start working. 
I will start getting my euro. So <laughs> that is gonna take off. Oh, <laughs> I can't God, wait for that. <laughs> All right, so how about you? What's your offer like? Um, so for me, for the relocation package, I think the only thing I paid for was my visa process, which should be refunded to me. So any other thing, AWS, flight tickets. What about your NMBI registration? No, they are going to refund. They are going to refund for me. I said the relocation package, aside the NBI processing. Mm. So all the NBI processing, I paid, I paid myself. So for my offer, they are going to refund me for my visa application. They refund for my NBI um, NBI the registration for the process getting the all the registration. Then for my PIN too, they are going to pay for that. Yes, so the only so. thing, the only money they are, they want to refund me now as at day is my registration and the visa process. I know that's it. Yeah. Very, very good. Thank, thank you so much. So I just want to quickly say something regarding cost, since we are talking about it, cost and job offer. So just to clarify what they have said, your job offer depends on your employer. Yes, Fuluka mentioned there that mm -hmm. you know both of them right here, they got their their, their job is direct. HSC hospital, <laughs> HSC hospital, public hospital, like big thing. So they are not with any agents. They are not saying that agents, uh, agencies are, are not good. I came in through an agent, okay? And as well for me, the only thing I had to pay for before leaving Nigeria was um, an NMBI fee, which was refunded back to me when I had my pain. Literally, like maybe I didn't wow. spend anything. Maybe the only thing I the only money I spent then was uh, to send documents. Yes, let me say, and I think I sent my document like twice or so, you know, like you know, transcript this professional transcript. There was a mistake with my professional transcript. I had to get it done again and sent it. So that's just so the journey for individuals differ. Now the other one could be other people might want to self sponsor. So. I think I've done a, I've done a, a video or recording of self-sponsoring for people that want to self-sponsor. So that could be for another day. Self-sponsoring means like you are you take up your uh, decision to sponsor yourself throughout the process. Once you do that, you know, like it's like selling yourself out. Who, which employer will not want to get you when you paid for everything? You understand? So that comes with its own challenge as well, of course, financially. Okay? So that's about the cost and the job offer. Some employers will give you job offer and say, you have to work for us for two years, like contract. But like the contract is, let me just clear, clear this out. It is not, I'm not tying you down, okay? Technically, once you come to Ireland, you have an AWS first, it's a good working scheme, which is only six months. With, by the time you start working, you need to renew it and get a critical work permit. A critical work permit was given to you, you are liable under the law of Ireland, not because of the employer. You have to work with that employer that gets you the critical work permit for minimum of two years. So indirectly, you the contract also covers the two years. So it's like they are even saving you, they are helping you to protect you. Because if that contract was not there to protect you for that two years, Many of us, we might want to change job. Many of us might be so impatient that we want to go to another place. Like, if we, you know, because you just came in, that place might not be so roomy for you. You want to try another water. And for your critical work permits, you must, like, it's a law. You have to work with the employer that gets you your critical work permit for minimum of two, for two years. So that means the contract they are giving you covers you, protects you for that time. Because if you go to another employer, that means you need to get a new critical work permit. And the date of the new critical work permit will start from the date you get it. So that means even if you have worked with an employer for one year, if you get a new critical work permit with another employer, that's starting all over again. So you are only wasting your time. Okay. So that's about critical work permit. I can do another section separate on critical work permits and all that for people that want to have more clarity. All right, let's eat it on. So the last question I'm going to be asking you, I know other people have a question. Now, you are in Ireland. I remember I, I wanted to share some video clips. I was going to Google 
photo today of my pictures. Maybe I should share it after. <laughs> yeah, when I was coming in. <laughs> you know, to see the way I do. <laughs> oh my God. There's one that in the air, in the plane, in the flight, the food. I just had to snap it. I could not eat. It was a uh, Turkish airline. So we see all the food. We'll talk about that. So share with us how has been your experience since you got to Highland? What do you love about Highland so far? What is that thing that is scaring you or that you're not happy about? So tell us about it. So look at Oh, okay. Um, I love I think I love the serene here, you know, the ambience of where I am, it's good, mm. it's fine. Well, consider where I'm coming from. Mm. Uh, where <laughs> no electricity, there's always this uh, noise, there's always one in but here it's been you no, know, that's that's not that has not been a problem. And uh, my child, I don't know if I should call this a challenge or it's something I like. It's the weather. Oh my goodness, it's super cold. I, you know, get, so do you going like out. It or do you? Ah, <laughs> uh, I think I like it at some point, but when I begin to shiver out there, hmm. um, it's maybe it's because I'm here to get a winter jacket though. So um, all I have is just a sweater, and I I I got that thinking uh, after all, even if it's with that cold, comparing Nigeria weather to here, you okay. know. So um, that so, that's that, that's been my challenge. So for saying that, for mentioning that, you will get a winter jacket courtesy of Synergy. Yeah, get it Thank you. Thank you. Just send me your time. <laughs> well, oh, okay, thank you, man. Both of you, both of you, start out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So, yeah. Uh, so that's what the weather. Then the food. Uh -huh, that's another challenge. Maybe it's because I'm still in isolation and I can't cook. So it's just their food that I have to eat. Ah, uh, it's uh, that food has been a challenge. But I think lately I've I've been adapting because I just it I, it just became done on me that is either I eat this food or I go on hunger strike. I told you. But, <laughs> so, so it's a lot of pepper and salt, regardless of what they bring. Even if they bring their cooked vegetables, so I must add pepper it and salt. <laughs> yes, so that I can go. Yeah, geez, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been that has been helping with the food. So I think I'm coping and adapting. But overall, it's it's a wonder. It's been a wonderful experience and um, a life changing one. How is the quarantine? They are still there. They are still quarantine. So they are talking to you guys uh, from their hotel room. Quarantine. <laughs> <room>. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Quarantine is good. At least we have been fed three square meal, and thank God I have somebody that that I can look up to. My my skin color. <laughs> yes, now. But she's she's leaving me. She's leaving me here soon. So I'm still thinking of how I'll cope for the days that I'll be here alone. But above all, it's been fun. You know, we, we have a time that we meet at the recreational area. So we just chat ourselves up. Oh, okay, meet me downstairs on my way. Mm -hmm. We stay out there for some time, just then go back to the room. And so it's been good. Yeah. Grant, thank you. Hi, Miss Sarah. Tell us. Yeah. Highland is beautiful. Highland is beautiful. The land, save everything green, green. This place is beautiful. Yes, yes, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. Green, green. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's beautiful. There is this kind of siren environment that makes it look beautiful. My journey from the airport to this hotel, no. I was looking out of the car, see this country, it's beautiful. So, <laughs> Do I even have any challenge so far? Even the room, before I even leave, the room that they, that each room that they give everybody, the room service is superb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The me, like, I give me, I give me, like, I'm living in that <laughs> Like, I'm in Nice Rock. Um, wow. It's, it's fine. I, I think it's, the only thing I get is that uh, they don't encourage uh, resisting. So yeah. I think, um, well. So the only challenge I have is weather. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I have winter jacket. I will put on two trousers, put on a little neck, come back, put on socks, put on gloves. I'll still be cold. So 
But I think good. 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 Yeah. Good. So about the food. My my first four days in this isolation. Honestly, I was I starved myself. Don't let me say I was starved. I starved myself because when they bring the food, I don't look at the food like that. Right. But yeah, okay, no. Tell what kind food. of food. Tell us what is the food. Okay. <laughs> like this evening now. Like this evening, they brought rice. Small, small rice. So that my, I cannot feed my daughter. So they brought rice. Eh? Curry chicken, you know. Yeah. They bring no pepper, no salt, nothing, nothing. So for the first first days, honestly, they bring um salad, all the salads. They bring lettuce, they bring spinach, oh, everything. So oh, oh, tomato. They just put everything inside. I was just like, am I a goat? They are believing I'm eating. <laughs> ah, honestly, I was. They want you to eat LD. <laughs> Uh, they want me to leave it, but not that. But honestly, I've, I've, I've found a way to go around it. According to what Soluke said, we used to put pepper. Even mm. in the, the leaf, they bring pepper. You so, put pepper in leaf. So that we just get it. <laughs> okay. That's good. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, just briefly, I remember when I came, my friend Iris. And when we got to to our hospital, to the nursing home, we came in to, to a nursing home, and they were trying to entertain us. You know, like ah, one day, oh, welcome, welcome. What can we offer you? We have apple pie. We have um. They were mentioning all this kind of different things. So the only thing that was familiar to us, I mean, if you're watching this, you remember. The only thing that was familiar to us is pie. You know, when they say we have apple pie, oh, okay. Every other thing. <laughs> So it was I just told I said, I that one is you, kind of. <laughs> I'll you Let's take pie. <laughs> All right. They took us to the staff room and we we're waiting for the apple pie. And when they brought the apple pie, <laughs> and behold, <laughs> it was potato, mashed potato. Like, honestly, like it was something different. So, so we all knew apple pie. I thought it was the normal apple pie, you know, the pie yeah. that we eat. Uh -huh. But this one it was potato mashed. They put different things inside and put the uh, cook boiled, uh, what was it called? Carrots, boiled carrots, boiled everything. Mm -hmm. Jesus, at the end of the day, it was bread and tea. I you mean, know, and Iris, ate. we left the apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, over time. Even now, today at work, I didn't go with my lunch from home. I had the lunch available at work. So that's an best you see. It's healthy. Thailand, they, are, they, they look after themselves health wise. Yes. So let me look, quickly look at the question, any question that we have on the. We are handing up. Okay, I think so. Which hospital gave adaptations? I think we mentioned that it depends. So at the same hospital that gives adaptation will also say they are like they are taking uh, aptitude test so it depends on them at any particular time um which other question is that could you please tell us the likely hospitals who are into adaptation so like i said we, we don't we won't be able to say that because it varies and it depends on which route you're coming most of the hsc hospitals will may, may accept adaptation and we also have some that say no go for aptitude test so Depends on your assessment, depends on your interview, the, the seed we you know, the interaction they've had with you. So that's all about that. And does anybody want to ask any particular question? Please use the raise hand button. I'm trying to get everyone's attention here. Anyone? Okay, so there's no question. Everybody has enjoyed. So we, we, I hope that, um, let me just first of all thank Fuluke and Kemisola. Thank you again for coming on board here. Honestly, thank you so much. Welcome. So we really hope that this has motivated. That's the main purpose of this, actually. 
that's the main purpose of this uh, meet and greet to motivate others, to encourage others. Because I've been hearing, getting a lot of feedback that like Ireland are, ah, their process is longer. Yeah, it might be long, but for you, it might be faster. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my process was six months, I'll say six months, so to say. So, um, and some other people can take longer, like Kemi Sola said, as was the year, thanks to COVID, you know. So depending, depending. So I just want to encourage everyone here. So and anyone that will be watching this at this particular time, if whatever country you want to go, either Ireland, UK, or US, Australia, I'm going to borrow the three P's of Kemi Sola today. Prayer, perseverance, and patience. Yes, I think I, I got that right. So that's what you need. That is all you need in, in this journey. And of course, apart from prayer and perseverance, you need to network with people. You really need to, you know, yeah. mix up, ask questions. Um, since that synergy is there. Yeah, that leads me to this question I'm going to ask. Now, what did both of them, what, what did you benefit at all from synergy in this process? So let me uh let me ask for Luke first. Yeah. Okay, um, in this process, I okay, I remember then that I was I was reading out for I was I joined the um CBT study body and that really helped me catch up with my books, you know, reading. And uh, I remember there was one interview I had, I think it's one employer like that. And, you know, they, I was asked question about, uh, was it communication? Yeah. And I think I, 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 I got the idea from one of our contributions on the study body, like one of our assessment um, mm. um, answers, you know, so that has really helped me a lot. And for the fact that I met, I met you through um, Synergy and, after getting here, you know, you were the first person I told that ah, I'm in Ireland, you know, somebody that you know, it's, it's, and I know there's a lot of things to benefit from over time, so. Good. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you for trusting us in the process and, you know, for even for enrolling in the CBT, it, it was because you trusted like you could deliver something. And I'm really glad to hear that it was, in, even though you're not coming to the exam pathway, now this is something for people to learn. Okay, she, Feluca came into adaptation. She didn't need to do a CBT study body, honestly. I asked her when she wanted to renew, uh, you know, we do it, renew her monthly. I asked her, why do you want to renew? Because you are coming through adaptation. But she said, I need the experience just to get myself, you know, in the mood and all that, which is something very spectacular and unique. So thank you so much for, for doing that. I really appreciate you. So. Right. For anyone that wants to join our CBT group, Buddy, you can join. Okay, it's monthly and it's, we we try to make it educative and informative. You're coming to a new environment. You need to know how things go. Like what? How do they do things? It's so different. Honestly, it's very very different. I started from a nursing home, which was a a, a very good place to start, given my, my background from a school of nursing. So it was a good place to start. Now look at them, they're coming straight into the pool of the public hospital. It's a big difference. So you need to be able to you know, acclimatize and see how you can um, adapt. So that CBT could help you with that. Thank you. For Luke, what about you? So what are, uh, how have you gained or what have you gained with? Kebisola. 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 Yeah. Kebisola. yeah. Before I go to before I go to what I benefited in Synergy, I would just love to say that for this journey, you need support. Mm -hmm. If you are not someone that is used to asking questions, task asking questions, we have people that are ready to listen to you and put you to. Firstly, when I, when I have people on my list that we have to thank personally. Yes, our sisters in, that put stages. I didn't like complete, I didn't like thoughts too. Thanks to my people. And I especially want to thank you, Coach. You've been a wonderful person. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. People are taking you for granted or something. I don't, I don't know how to put it. But you you are a good person. It's how much mm -hmm. is the money that we are paying for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much is it? It's just a lot. No, it's just love. 
And if you see these people, and what is that these people, those these white people is that they have connections. They have the uh, Philippines are helping themselves. The yeah. Indians are helping themselves. The mm. So why can't we Africans? Why can't we help ourselves? Nigeria, why can't we support ourselves? Well, our people will not. I don't. I don't know this African mentality. This, this topic most of us. So mm -hmm. what the benefited so far? No, I've I've learned a lot. A lot. Even those things I think I know. You know, you, you know something, and you you may be wrong. So I've benefited in many. I, I'm not seeing my adaptation as something that would be difficult because mm -hmm. of many things I've learned. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me first so see. I still have Kemisola, to for I want to things. ask Exola, how did you get to know Sinaji? Or oh, even <laughs> I share the secret. Yes. So she needs to share it. <laughs> let me tell her. Okay, Sinaji. I got to know about you through a friend now. She may have said that earlier. Okay, uh, I know. I, <laughs> and one thing about me is that, another thing about me is that, according to Coach, she used to say that anywhere she used to see me, on Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twitter, <laughs> anywhere, anything that, has, that relates to nothing in Ireland, you will always see me there. In every group, <laughs> you will always see me. Because I know I need that support, I need information. I'm a very curious person, so I'm very inquisitive. So anything, any, she would just shut me up. I can tell I saw you in this place. I said I am there. I'm in every group, every everywhere you will see me. You will see my name there. So I think that's one of those things. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's what I was going. That's what I was going to say. See, eh? Yeah, don't be tired. I just want to encourage everyone. Don't be tired. Honestly, mm -hmm. I got to know about Ireland, like just like himself. I never knew anything. If they tell me Ireland is I S L A N D that will come to my head, okay, like that's Ireland. <laughs> like I didn't think of it as a country at all. So when my friend told me, like, oh, I I know you've been trying all my life, I've been trying study, school, US, in fact, US, UK. I got admission twice in UK, US, UK. Like, so was study I was preparing for. So my IELTS academy was for study purpose, not even for uh, for mm. job. Okay, so so that my friend, if he will see this video, and then I'm very sure he will say, or like how you mentioned it again, uh, Adams. I don't know uh, as many of you that know Adams. Uh, just one of that. So he told me, he said, I said that you are you are interested, in, and I have one info. Somebody told me, but I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about them. Maybe you can try, but I know that you've been trying to travel out and all that. I said, okay, share with me. I hope it's not scam. Oh, he said it's not scam. Okay, let's try. I just sent my uh, what's it called? Passport, national passport to the email. He gave me an email. I sent it and the next day. They said, okay, let's have an informer. They started talking, Skype interview, blah, blah, blah. Uh -uh. like that, like that, like that, like that. And we are here. What I'm trying to say is don't think of every opportunity. Every, there are so many opportunities, don't take anyone for granted. Of course, do your checks, be very vigilant to avoid scammers. You know, there are scammers out there. And that is why we are doing this, for you to know that synergy is no scam zone, okay? Even yeah. though, if you are looking for free things, cheap pay and all that, that's where you fall into scammers. It's no scam zone. So for people that don't know, we are very transparent, we are very legit and we, the main purpose of Synergy, like you see from our name, is Synergy International Nursing Network. It's to network. It's to network with people. We are trying to fill in a gap that we saw was uh, what existed when we came in. Yes, when I got to Ireland, it was a CV on your own. You know, a lot of challenges that we had to fight out ourselves. We had to, I had personal challenges. So that's the story for another day. But mm -hmm. I felt like, okay, if I could survive this, if some of us could survive this, then other people that will come here, this is a very different environment. Ireland is a, like somebody says, small place. It's not like US that you have loads of black people, you have Nigerians or that. We are growing now. So we want that network. We want to be of help to everyone, which is not everything that will come free. So just for people that, to know, to make it effective. That's, that's my goal. If you want free, you might not get the best. If you want the best, then pay for it and then you value it. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. We're going to be running up with the section. It was a very, it's been a very wonderful uh, meeting talking to Kemisola and Fuluke. 
uh, they are the latest synergenesis in Ireland. Mm -hmm. They are here to yes. stay. Yes, and we celebrate mm -hmm. them, we appreciate them. Thank you everyone that have joined here. And I don't know if other people ask any questions. I think we ask our questions. So we'll see you. I'll see you very soon. Wait for your jackets. You see you. Yeah, see you very thank soon. you. And my <laughs> pepper soup. Oh. <laughs> and my pepper soup. Pepper soup. Okay, I've heard you. Pepper soup. Okay. And hopefully, one of these days, uh, before you resume, and when you're out of quarantine, we'll be able to have our two meters apart picture. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> two meters apart and all that. Okay. Thank you so much. We're running up, so we won't be thank able you. to take any more questions. Okay. Bye for now. Do have a lovely Bye. day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.